Are you having a hard time adding dissimilar fractions? Don't worry because I will be teaching you a method called the butterfly method. This will help you add dissimilar fractions easier. Let's try some examples. What is one third added by three fourths? Again, we will use the butterfly method to add these dissimilar fractions. And it is called a butterfly method because we will be drawing a butterfly while we are solving. So a butterfly needs wings like this. Then what will we do with these wings? We'll multiply the numbers in each wing. So we'll have 3 times 3 is 9. We'll write our answer in the antenna of our butterfly. And we'll do the same to the other wing. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. So we'll write the answer in the other antenna of our butterfly. Now let us not forget that the butterfly also needs a body. Therefore, we'll multiply 3 and 4 to get the body of our butterfly. And that will be 12. Then, we will add the numbers in our antenna. So that will be 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. Then we will copy the body, which is 12. That means 1 third plus 3 fourths is equal to 13 over 12. However, this fraction is an improper fraction, so we need to change it into a mixed number. And for us to do that, we will simply divide the numerator by the denominator. 13 divided by 12 is 1, and 1 times 12 is 12. So we'll have a remainder of 1. This quotient here will be our whole number, and this denominator here, or this remainder here, will be our numerator, and the divisor will be our denominator. So the answer is 1 and 1 twelfth, or 1 third plus 3 fourths is equal to 1 and 1 twelfth. Now let's have another example. What is 3 sevenths more than 4 eighths? Again, we will use the butterfly method to add these dissimilar fractions. So let's draw the first wing. 7 times 4, that's 28. Let's write our answer in the antenna. Then let's do the other, the same thing to the other wing. 8 times 3 is 24. We'll write the answer in the antenna. Then we draw the body by multiplying 7 and 8, which will give us 56. Now let's add the antennas. 24 plus 28 is equal to 52. Then we will have the body, which is 56. Now, 52 over 56 is not yet in its simplest form, so we'll simplify it by dividing them like this one. 52 and 56 are both divisible by 2, so 52 divided by 2 is 26, and 56 divided by 2 is 28. 26 and 28 can still be divided by 2, so let's continue. 26 divided by 2 is 13, and 28 divided by 2 is 14. 13 and 14 are already relatively prime, so that means the simplest form of 52 over 56 is 13 over 14. Let's try another example. What is 2 and 3 sevenths more than 4 eighths? So let's solve here. 2 and 3 sevenths plus 4 eighths. Take note that whenever we have a mixed fraction, what we will use in our butterfly method is only the fraction here. Okay, so we'll draw the wings like this. Then we multiply. 8 times 3 is 24. And 7 times 4 is 28. Then 7 times 8 is 56. Now let's add this antenna. Okay, so 24 plus 28 is equal to 52. Then 56 will be copied. But let us not forget that we have here a whole number. So we'll copy that one here. 
if there's another whole number here, we'll have to add 2 to the whole number here. And that's what we'll write here. Okay. Now, we already found out that the simplest form of 52 over 56 is 13 over 14. So, our final answer now will be 2 and 13 over 14. And that's it for butterfly method.